So far, the trip had gone perfectly. Of course, I was behind schedule, but I knew that would be the case before I left. I had expected more challenges with finding the sites I was looking for and with my camera setup, but I had experienced no issues so far. I have some exciting places on the schedule for this afternoon, so watch and see how it goes. I was rolling down Highway N120. I passed by an establishment whose sign said Steakhouse and Bar. Not having had breakfast, I figured it'd be a good place to stop, and I was not disappointed. I ordered the best Portuguese steak, a 400 gram cut of prime beef. It came with many sides and the best beans I've had in Portugal, which is no small accomplishment as Brazilian black beans are a thing here. Trying to avoid the onset of a meat coma, I was soon back on the road. Honestly, when I planned to go to this spot, I thought it was just a popular place with the Instagram and TikTok crowd because of its majestic beauty. But it turns out it's a very important archeological site. Ponta de Italia, or Watchtower Point in English, is home to the Ribat of Arafiana, a 900-year-old Moorish fort. In addition to the dramatic rocks and never-ceasing crash of waves, it is the only known place on the Iberian Peninsula where Moorish gravestones, or stele, were found on site. This allowed the discovered remains to be identified. However, there is some discussion that they were possibly reused. Sadly, we only know the names of the folks, not who they were or why they were buried here. Which is too bad, because one of the skeletons is a woman, an odd discovery in a fort of warrior monks. The site is believed to be built around 1130 by a Muslim master, Ibn Qasai, whose full name I am not going to butcher. He published his main work, The Removal of Sandals in about 1130 or 1140. This proved popular enough to see him assassinated in 1151 in Silvis after being accused of betraying Islam. Now when I first read the title The Removal of Sandals, I honestly thought it sounded like the title of a cheap romance novel. Doing a little research and it turns out there's a passage in Deuteronomy that calls for the removal of sandals and spitting in the face of a brother who will not marry his deceased brother's widow which is a better plot than I could ever come up with. Sadly, it really is a metaphor for the removal of material goods and desires. So obviously, I'll never read that. Sagres is the southwesternly most point in Europe. Not to be confused with Cabo de Roca, close to Lisbon, the westernmost point in continental Europe. Nor should the town be confused with the number one brand of beer in Portugal. There are a few exciting places worth stopping at here, but I only have time for one, and I'm here to see the Ferrol do Cabo de São Vicente. In other words, the lighthouse. The lighthouse was first built here in 1520 on the site of a convent. It was improved in the 1550s and then destroyed by Sir Francis Drake in 1587. Sir Francis Drake is seen as a pirate by the Portuguese, not a hero. In the intervening centuries, it was rebuilt and abandoned as Portugal's fortunes rose and fell. But by 1908, it had one of the 10 largest Frenzel lenses in the world. It currently can be seen up to 60 kilometers away.
At this point, the proverbial wheels came off the cart. I was a few hours behind schedule and also managed to mess up with my cameras. I had planned to go to the town of Lagos and see several sites, another lighthouse, a fort, and the historic slave market, also a beach where I hoped to fly my drone. Between my late arrival and messing around with my camera batteries, it was kind of a shit show. I did amuse myself by riding around the maze of tiny streets, with the Garmin directing me in an increasingly crazy set of twists and turns that eventually led me out of the town. My trip to the hotel was uneventful, and on arrival in Villamora, I again messed up my camera work. But it was a successful day. I made most of my planned stops, ate a great lunch, saw some incredible things, and reached my hotel before dark. I hope you enjoyed joining my trip. If you did, I'd appreciate a like. And if you loved it, subscribe and tell your friends. If you know how to pronounce all the words I butchered, let me know below. Or just drop a note to say hi. Thanks, and may you have travel and good fortune in your future.